वेलकम बैक प्रॉब्लम 11.15 सो स्टेटमेंट इज द असेंबली ए बी सी इज मेड अप ऑफ स्टील फॉर व्हिच ई इज 200 गीगा पास्कल एंड ईल्ड स्ट्रेस इज इक्वल टू 320 मेगा पास्कल नोइंग दैट अ स्ट्रेन एनर्जी ऑफ 5 जूल मस्ट बी इक्वाइड फॉर द असेंबली एज एक्सियल लोड पी इज अप्लाइड सो डिटरमाइन द फैक्टर ऑफ सेफ्टी with respect to permanent deformation when x is equal to 300 mm and when x is equal to 600 mm so rod abc steel all the data are given so we will pick some data from here as well clear the diameter of this rod ab is 12 mm while diameter of this rod bc is 18 mm total length is 900 mm and x is the variation we will put x is equal to 300 and then we will find the factor of safety safety similarly for x is equal to 600 mm we will find the factor of safety so let's start the solution as we know that uh, uh, factor of safety we discussed in our previous exam problem 11.14 we know that factor of safety is equal to strain energy uh, total strain energy till point of yielding divided by to total strain energy okay so we we have this value we do not know the uh, total strain energy till point, point of yielding so we will find them uh, how we will find them so for that we will calculate it as we know that sigma yield is equal to 320 mega pascal clear that is equal to 320 into 10 to the power 6 pascal also e is given as 200 giga pascal so 200 into 10 to the power 9 pascal what is the area of rod ab so area of rod ab is equal to pi by 4 and diameter is 12 mm so 12 square and that will give you 113.097 square mm and in meter it will be equal to 113.097 into 10 to the power minus 6 square meter similarly area of rod bc is equal to pi by 4 into diameter and diameter is 18 mm so 18 square and that will give you 254.47 square mm r 254.47 into 10 to the power minus 6 square meter now you can see we have this area and we have this area which one is minimum so area of rod ab is minimum so minimum area is equal to area of rod ab why we are taking minimum area because it will give you the maximum stress so we will find that, that. so force we have given sigma y so uh, force at yielding or allowable axial force p allowable that will be equal to p allowable is equal to sigma yield into a minimum i will explain it we know that sigma yield is equal to p yield or p allowable divided by area okay so from here p allowable is equal to sigma yield into area since we have taken the minimum area so from here you will get p allowable so p allowable is equal to sigma yield which is 320 mega pascal so 320 into 10 to the power 6 and area minimum is 113.097 into 10 to the power minus 6 so from here you will get 36.191 into 10 to the power 3 newton so this is your allowable stress now we will move toward our first part for x is equal to 300 mm 
so you can see that x is equal to 300 millimeters so the length of a b will be equal to 300 millimeter and in term of meter it will be equal to 0 0.3 meter while length of bc will be equal to 900 minus 3 and this will be remaining this will be equal to 600 millimeter if x is equal to 300 so 600 millimeter and in term of meter it is equal to 0 0.6 meter now what we will do is that we will calculate the total strain energy till point of yielding that is equal to uab strain energy in rod ab plus strain energy in rod bc till point of yielding so we will put the value we know that p is same that is p allowable so i will write it as let we will write it as p so p into lab divide by 2e area of ab this is p square okay plus p square length of bc divided by 2e into area of bc so you can just put the value or you can take b square over 2e as common and the remaining we will left will l a b over area a b plus l b c over area b c now you can put the value you will get P is 36.191 into 10 to the power 3 so it's square divided by 2 into e so 2 into 200 gigapascal multiply by length of AB is 0 0.30 divided by area of AB is 113.097 into 10 to the power minus 6 plus length of bc is 0 0.600 divided by area of this is 254.97 into 10 to the power minus 6 so when you calculate it you will get the total value this will this this portion will give you this portion will give you 3 points 27545 2.27 45 into 10 to the power minus 3 while the other two will become equal to 2652.6 plus 2353.2 and there are some is equal to this is sigma this is yield strain total strain energy till point of yielding when x is equal to 300 and when you add them it will be equal to 16.392 joules now you have this value you can find also in given we have q is equal to 5 joules so you can calculate factor of safety is equal to sigma y divided by u so 16.392 divided by 5 will give you a factor of safety is equal to 3.28 so factor of safety is equal to 3.28 for x is equal to 300 millimeter and that is also for permanent deformation okay now we will move toward part b and in part b we have been asked to find factor of safety for x is equal to 600 millimeter 
and that is equal to 0 0.6 meter so what i will do is that we will write the same formula okay so factor of safety is 600 so it means x is equal to so length of a b will become equal to 0 0.6 meter clear while length of bc is equal to 0 0.30 meter i will show you if x is equal to now this x is equal to 600 so the remaining will be equal to 300 millimeter and rest the same formula we will use i will not write it again and again so instantly i will just copy it and i will paste it over here so we will use the same formula okay now you can put the value u is u y is equal to p is again the same p is 36.191 which was allowable into 10 to the power 3 divided by 2 into 200 gigapascal clear into length of a b is now 0 0.6 divided by area is again the same which is 113.097 into 10 to the power minus 6 plus length of BC which is 0 0.3 divided by area of BC is 254.97 into 10 to the power minus 6 and this UY will become equal to 3.2745 into 10 to the power minus 3 multiply by 5305.2 plus 1176.6 so when you add them so you will get total strain energy till point of yieldings comes out to be 21.225 joule for x is equal to 600 millimeter now factor of safety is equal to u or till yielding divided by u so this is 21.225 divided by sigma u was 5 joule so divided by 5 so you will get factor of safety is equal to 4.25 for x is equal to 600 millimeter so this was all about our problem 11.15 i hope you have enjoyed this video again if you have any question you can ask me in comment section and if you are new to my channel then subscribe it and keep watching thank you